Hey you guys, what's up? My name is Trix, aka Nico. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about dungeons, in particular about the dungeon class system. Ever since it was announced, I was fascinated with how people were preparing for something they couldn't wait to play. And if you're like me, you're probably wondering what exactly to prepare for, except for grinding skills, which is, for example, perfectly represented by Max's road to level 50 in every single skill. And to answer exactly that question, we're now going to take a look at the Archer class. The Archer is a class that might also be known as a Hunter or Ranger in other games, who represents the ranged physical damage dealer of the team, and since he's ranged, helps Health doesn't play too big of a role, which also makes him a big target though. The kit comes firstly with a very positive note, which is a 100% damage boost on ranged attacks, but also with a quite shocking one. The archer is the only class that actually loses stats, and in this case it's 25% melee damage. Obviously this tries to push the archer towards fighting ranged and only close up if it's really needed, but since it's the only class that actually is getting stats taken away from them, it was important for me to point this out, and I understand the concept, but I think and I hope they're going to rework work it in a different way. Other than that, he brings two passive abilities with him, the double shot ability, which gives him a 50% chance to shoot an extra arrow, and on top of that, you also get a bone plating, that basically acts as a shield on a 25% cooldown. This helps out with the problem that you neither have too much health, nor are your melee attacks too strong. The dungeon orb ability for the archer features an explosive shot, that does actually exactly what it says, it fires an arrow that explodes on impact. And as an ultimate, you have rapid fire, which is pretty much a bow minigun. You shoot 8 arrows per second and that for 4 seconds long. This especially can help you out in rough situations as you don't even need to draw back your bow. As a ghost, the archer gains two abilities, a stun bow, which is basically an arrow that stuns non-boss monster mobs if you hit them, and an arrow gift. This ability is very questionable since not only does every player have the ability to almost fill a double chest full of arrows, but also the archer is basically one of the only people who actually is using their bows, therefore making this ability absolutely useless, which is also why I think this is going to probably be bound to have a rework at some point. So now that we know what the archer actually brings along, let's take a look at how you might actually want to prepare for it. Before we go in, I really quickly have to say this again, that everything that is following is going to be based on the current game standards. Therefore it might change in ways that I obviously can't predict at the moment, and with that said, I am also not including leaked or shown items, as this should help us prepare for it, and you can't really do that if it's unavailable content that I'm showing off. Also, it's probably a good idea to mention again that I not only played dungeons myself on the alpha server, but I also tried to get a lot of different heads behind my following ideas on the preparation. So starting out, as we already established, the archer represents the ranged damage dealer who wants to stay back and deal damage from a distance. Therefore, if you want to prepare for it, unlike the berserk, you will have to most importantly farm damage skills like foraging and combat. One more important thing is to mention special bows might actually require a lot of mana which is why mana, or aka intelligence, which is acquired through alchemy and enchanting, is probably also not the worst thing to work towards. If we now take a look at the armor sets, you can see that I chose the Frozen Blaze and the Elegant Tuxedo combination, as well as the Superior set. This is based on the fact that, like I already said, you're a ranged damage dealer and this is what you want to be focusing on. Since here and there you might actually still have to fight, or you get surprised by enemies, it's probably best to not wear the boots and get rid of the 250 health barrier that would basically make you a one-shot target. Combined with the visible pets, you should have the best chance of starting out as a very top tier archer. The skeleton pet here is probably one of the strongest pets, since it's not only adding bow damage, which is even more increased in dungeons, but it also adds the protection of its third ability, called Skeletal Defense. This ability shoots an arrow for an insane amount of damage at a monster that is trying to get close to you. This basically fixes exactly what I was talking about earlier, when I said that there are still mobs that could have been overseen by other players or surprised you. Other than that, the Phoenix pet is also something I might want to mention. The upcoming Mosquito Bow as well as the Scorpion Bow both use mana which makes them hard to sustain. The Phoenix pet gives you 150 of that and if you put a textbook on there, you'd actually double that, helping you out even more. And lastly, equipment wise, an endgame sword is preferably something you would want to aim for, followed along by one or even all of these bows shown here. The Runin's Bow might be a very good bow in the current state of the game, but within dungeons it's a bit different. 
Aiming doesn't seem to really work great on the side arrows, which makes the runen bow very weak in comparison to others. Especially in boss fights, having the highest damage possible is very important. This is why I would advise you to, especially as an archer, not only think of the runen's bow, since it doesn't seem to be the best chance for dungeons after all. Last but not least, I want to talk about one more thing that could just push your preparation to the top of the mountain. Toxic Arrow Poison. I know it's a Slayer item that basically helps people out to pay for the Tarantula bosses and doesn't really have too much use in the current state of the game, since the only real use would actually be dragons, on which I'm not even sure if people are using it, but for dungeons this could be a crucial and game-changing factor. So, to sum it all up, the Archer class is going to be a class that you can prepare for in, in a very straightforward line. Since damage is the most important part, closely followed by mana, that is needed to provide the damage, I would advise to put a focus on exactly that. Since, like I already said, I didn't include already shown or leaked items, I would not advise to also spend all your money on, on the items that I'm shown on the screen. This is, again, just like I said in my other video, just a prediction of what I think is going to be a top tier starter kit for the Archer class, since it's not only confirmed by the admins, but I've already seen a lot of it myself. The dungeon armor sets are probably going to be a big, if not the biggest part of the top tier floors on dungeons. Therefore, if you want to prepare for the class, it's always good to get a look at a path you could choose, but you don't have to strictly follow it right now since there is going to be a lot of new content coming out that we at the moment might actually not even know of. If this helped you out and you want to take a look at the image yourself, I linked them down below. You can find all of the classes as well as all of the images on my website and you can check them out by yourself. And if you have any questions or ideas or changes or you want to share your opinion, then feel free to join my Discord server or follow me on Twitter and those are also both uh, linked down below. And if you enjoyed the video, I would obviously enjoy a like since this was a lot of work and it would show me that you want to see more of this type of content. To keep up, you can obviously also subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the bell if you want to stay up to date as soon as I upload and since this is a five part series and I wanted to keep them coming at an actual upload schedule you'll see them coming every other day from now on. I will hope I'll see you on the other ones as well and since this is basically it I want to say one more time thank you very much for watching and have an awesome day.